Hi guys, my name is Katie and welcome to this video for psychometric tests. In this video I'm going to focus on psychometric tests for numerical reasoning. And within this video I'm going to discuss what the tests are and show you some sample questions and just give you some top tips and advice to help you prepare for numerical reasoning assessments. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel because it is free and it will keep you updated with more of not only my psychometric testing videos but career related videos and education videos so there's a whole range of videos that could be useful to you so make sure you check that out okay so what is numerical reasoning numerical reasoning test is designed to assess mathematical knowledge through number related assessments these assessments will consist of different difficulty levels and will all vary depending on who you are sitting the test for. Be sure to find out what type of numerical reason test you will be sitting, just to ensure you make the most out of your preparation time. So why are numerical tests used? Numerical reasoning is one of the most common forms of psychometric testing, which enables employers to filter out strong candidates from those less desirable. Most recruitment processes now contain a form of psychometric and aptitude testing, so, so it's important that you are 100% prepared. The majority of numerical reasoning tests are administered to candidates who are applying for managerial, graduate and professional positions. Any job that deals with making inferences in relation to statistical, financial or numerical data. However, some employers may use this test as a way of determining important job-related skills such as time management and problem-solving efficiency. So which skills are measured? So numerical reasoning tests can be used to assess the following. So we have basic mental arithmetic, critical reasoning, general intelligence, estimation, speed and concentration, financial reasoning and data analysis. And the skills that will be assessed during your numerical reasoning will often have um, be based around questions including addition, subtraction, division and multiplication. There will be questions on fractions or percentages, decimals, ratios, etc, etc. Okay, So there will be a whole range of different numerical reasoning questions for you to have a go at. So practice questions for mental arithmetic. Okay, So question 1. So what is 9 elevenths of 88? So there are your answer options. How to work it out. So first of all, we would do 88 divided by 11, which is the bottom number of this fraction here. So 88 divided by 11 would give you 8. And then you would times that number by the top number of the fraction, which is 9. So 8 times 9 is 72. So your answer to this question is D. Question 2. So a family of four split the cost of all the household bills equally. The water bill was £80.40, the gas bill was £35 and the electric bill was £40. The rent for the month was £490. How much does each member of the family put towards covering all the bill costs? So first of all you will need to work out how much is needs to be paid all together so you need to add up all of these numbers so you add up 80 pounds 40 plus 35 pounds plus the 40 pounds and plus the 490 and this will give you a total of 645 pound 40 and next you would need to divide that number by the number of people paying so there's four people in this family and they're splitting the cost equally so you would do £645.40 divided by 4 equals £161.35. So your answer to this question would be C. Some practice questions for data interpretation. So what percentage of the total number of crimes were assault related? So there is your diagram and the assault related would be this one here which is 24. So how to work it out, so you would do 24 divided by the total of this, so if you add up all of these, you would get 150. So 24 divided by 150 
times by 100 would give you 16. So 16% 16 of the total number of crimes were assault related. So your answer to this question is C. Question 4. So what month saw the biggest increase in total sales from the previous month? So there's your diagram. So we're looking at the biggest increase in total sales from the previous month. So we're looking at these columns down this way. We're not looking at the rows. So let's focus on this. And we're looking for the biggest increase from the previous month. So as you can see, between January and February, there is um, quite a big increase from 195 to 214. So that could be a possibility. So let's have a look at the others. Between February and March, so we've got a decrease. So that's not going to be your answer because you're finding the increase. Between March and April, again, that's a decrease. So that's not going to be that. Again, another decrease and a decrease. So your answer is, in fact... B, because between January and February there is an increase by 19. Okay, so that completes this video for psychometric testing numerical reasoning. Make sure you check out my other career related videos and more of my psychometric testing videos at CareerVid. So make sure you subscribe to that because you will get a whole range of videos come up on your screen. For more practice questions on a whole range of psychometric testing questions, make sure you check out www.howtobecome.com where you can purchase your own psychometric testing guide. Thank you for watching. I hope this has helped and I wish you all the best of luck in your assessments.